ever seen the extent of Crixie's powers? Those who have all perished multiple times. Crixie's abilities allow her to take on any foe. Better yet, she's easily obtainable in the Road to Glory questline, meaning anyone can get her and begin the beatdown. An exceptionally agile mage, with the power of her passive, Crixie can dodge deadly enemy projectiles and avoid situations that would end in doom for others. No doom for Crixie. With her super long-range poke, long-range control, and an ultimate that spells disaster for the enemy in team fights, she'll mop them up and help ensure your team gains total victory. Safely pokes from a distance, yet has massive burst damage. Small and agile, yet not frail. She can dish it out and doesn't need to take it. Become the best Crixie ever in our Road to Mastery series and destroy all that stand in your way. If you are only interested in the advanced level aspects of Crixie, feel free to skip to the second half. Ability Analysis Crixie's first ability, Mischief, has both a long range and short cooldown as well as higher damage than her second ability, Hence, a good Crixie player should always level up the first ability first, followed by the second ability, and then level her ultimate, Moonfall, whenever it is available. Passive Flutter During teamfights, Crixie can use this to avoid getting hit by enemies focusing on her. Her passive works on both enemy heroes and minions and monsters, so Crixie can use this while chasing or escaping from an enemy. First Ability Mischief This is Crixie's bread and butter for poking the enemy. Note that the clone will follow Crixie, so she can reposition herself in the middle of using the ability to change her clone's return path for maximum damage. When fighting an enemy hero, get the initial hit off with Mischief to exploit the full damage of the first hit. When clearing minions waves, try to hit as many minions as possible. Second Ability, Nature's Wrath Newer players should practice consistently getting hits off with this ability to get a better idea of position and timing. Note 1. Use Nature's Wrath on enemy heroes that are using a channeling spell, such as Dioshan, when she is in the middle of her ultimate. 2. Use it in conjunction with an ally who got their control ability off on an enemy hero. Doing this ensures you can chain CC your enemy. 3. Time your enemy's path when they're coming into attack or escaping, so they can basically run into the spell. Enemies generally cannot predict this effectively. Ultimate Moonfall Note. The fewer the enemy targets are within Moonfall's range, the higher the damage will be dealt to each target. Crixie's quite squishy, so don't run into a team fight with Moonfall activated randomly. You may get focused and taken down quickly. To make it safe, Crixie can use the edge of Moonfall's range to still damage the enemy. Combo Tips when in combat, you should frequently use Mischief to poke at the enemy and deal chip damage. If you are a newer player, you can try to quickly use the second ability, Nature's Wrath, and the ultimate, Moonfall, right after an enemy hero gets hit by control abilities from your team. If you are confident with your execution speed, then the combo that deals the highest burst damage is in this sequence. 2, 1, 3. Nature's Wrath, 
Mischief, then Moonfall. You can also choose to hide in the brush first, control the enemy using Nature's Wrath, then use Mischief and Moonfall to deal damage. Newer players should select Sprint, because using Sprint with her passive can max out her movement speed when needing to chase enemies or escape a bad situation. Advanced players should use Flicker, as this can help Crixie escape from assassins focusing on her and also dodge enemy abilities. Crixie can also use Flicker to reposition for maximum damage output. For level 2 Arcana, get Corruption, Revelation, and Corrosion. For level 3 Arcana, get Violate, Devour, and Hex. For items, get Enchanted Kids, Orb of the Magi, Hecate's Diadem, Rhea's Blessing, Bereth's Agony, and Staff of Newell. Crixie can counter slower heroes that also have shorter attack range, such as Natalia, Maganga, Dioshan, Azenka, Yorn, and Valheim. Crixie can get countered by heroes who excel in team fights, those with exceptional mobility, and heroes with high burst damage, such as Jinner, Zil, Kali, Wukong, Nakroth, and Kricknack. When facing these heroes, Crixie should pay close attention to her positioning, try not to get in the enemy's attack range while frequently using mischief to weaken the enemy and keep her passive activated for high movement speed. Get into the fight and start to kill after tanky teammates have taken the main brunt of the enemy's team damage and control abilities. Laning Tips Crixie is a mid to late game hero, so she needs high ability power to scale with her abilities to deal massive damage. So in the early game, Crixie should stay within tower range and use Mischief to poke and clear minion waves. Don't use Nature's Wrath with Mischief to poke. Instead, save Nature's Wrath for when you need to escape or defend. Make sure you earn as much gold as possible while laning. While supporting, stay within your side of the map. After reaching level 4, pay more attention to the minimap. Stay in the middle lane and continue to farm. Teammates send a ping or signal asking for support, help support the top and bottom lanes. In the mid game, start using her mischief more to poke while using nature's wrath in conjunction with other control abilities from your team. Work with your team to focus on more dangerous heroes. Since Crixie's ultimate, Moonfall, has a short range, you can unleash it after a team fight begins. Use the edge of Moonfall's range to deal damage to enemies from a safe distance. Unless the enemy team is about to wipe, it's not wise to rush into the center of a team fight with Moonfall activated. In the late game, both sides will most likely have their front towers already taken down it will be even more dangerous for Crixie to venture out alone. As a squishy mage, stay behind your tank and other tougher heroes. Avoid getting caught off guard and alone by the enemy. As a good Crixie player, help your team gank. Advanced Gameplay For advanced players, Optimizing your item build is essential. The first item should still be Enchanted Kicks, which provides magic penetration and can increase her mobility for lane support. The second item, Orb of the Magi, is indeed very cost-efficient. As Crixie is an AP carry, she's weak in the early game but can dominate as the game progresses. Orb of the Magi can help her recover while laning but it can also increase her AP as time progresses, which is perfect for Crixie. Popular mage items such as Boomstick and Hecate's Diadem provide maximum damage output in the early game, so they're more suitable for mages like Natalia, who excel in nuking down enemies. However, for mages like Crixie, who are weak in the early game and strong in the late game, Orb of the Magi is definitely a better choice.
You can pick the third and fourth items based on the enemy team's makeup and how your team is faring in the mid-game. If you are snowballing, Boomstick is a good choice. If enemy team has many tanky heroes, pick Hecate's Diadem. If the enemy main physical damage dealer, such as Marksman, gets fed, then choose Barreth's Agony. If the enemy team has more than two magic damage dealers, pick Frosty's Revenge. The fifth item slot can go to Rhea's Blessing for additional laning staying power. Or you can instead choose Staff of Null to help nullify enemies' magic defense. Tome of the Reaper can also be used to counter enemy team heroes that are good at healing. The last item can either be Holy of Holies or Ancestral Glory. Advanced players can replace Devour with Gorilla to have the set of Violate, Gorilla, and Hex. Gorilla can increase movement speed, which can assist Crixie in supporting teammates and dodging enemy projectiles. It can also increase attack speed in the early game, which will help with overall damage output. Advanced Combo Tips In terms of abilities, here are some of the tips for advanced players. 1. The actual range for Mischief and Nature's Wrath is indeed longer than what is shown in the game. 2. When the target is hit at the tip of Mischief, it will damage the target twice in a very short time. 3. Nature's Wrath can link with the first ability immediately after it is pressed. In this way, Mischief will be used right after Crixie finishes Nature's Wrath without any pause, making it an automatic combo. When there is only one enemy hero in Crixie's view, simply press the first and second ability buttons consecutively on your screen. Then the game's auto-aim will help to complete a perfect combo. 4. After you get familiar with this combo, you can calculate the precise opportunity to use it, making sure it can nuke down the enemy at once. Advanced Laning Tips When talking about laning, advanced players should quickly use Mischief to clear minion waves, then check the mini-map, locate their team's support and jungler, and choose the correct lane to support. After finishing supporting a lane, you should return to the middle lane. However, be sure to pay special attention to the path between the middle lane tower and the river. Use Mischief to scout out areas for potential enemies. If you discover your passive wasn't triggered, then it's safe for you to continue going in that direction. When you encounter an enemy's mid lane hero in the lane, you can try to hide in the brush and gank. Open with Nature's Wrath to control the enemy, then continue to gank. When roaming, stick together with a support. Avoid moving around the river alone. If the jungler is weak, you can follow the jungle to gank enemy heroes in the jungle, or rally your team to kill the Abyssal Dragon. Do not panic when attacked by an enemy assassin. Simply using Flicker at the right time can force an assassin to retreat. If caught, use Nature's Wrath under Crixie. Using it in this way gives Crixie a great chance to control the enemy hero and improve your chances of survival. During team fights, make sure Crixie is always at the back of your team. So keep a distance with your team's marksman to prevent getting ganked by the enemy's assassin. If your marksman is under attack, use Nature's Wrath underneath them to stop the assassin, then assist to finish the enemy off. Thanks for watching. See you next time in Arena of Valor's Road to Mastery.